Hey guys, it's Bridget. So today I'm going to be showing you some of my current favorites. We have makeup, skincare, hair, and one special item. So if you wanna see what my current beauty favorites are, then just keep watching. First favorite, I may have already talked about this kind of a lot on my channel, but that's because I really love it. This is the Cover FX Custom Enhancer Drops in the shade Moonlight. And as you can see from the amount of wear on the bottle, I've definitely been getting a ton of use out of this. My favorite things to do with this are add a drop to my foundation and mix it in for an all over glow on the face. I also dab a bit on the back of my hand and then tap it on with my finger as a cheekbone highlight, which I've done today. Oh, I also mix it into my foundation today. And I like to use it as an inner corner highlight on my eyes sometimes too. And yet another amazing use for this product is to mix a drop or two in with my body cream and then rub that all over my decollete, my arms, my legs, wherever for an extra shimmer. It's potent enough that even just a drop or two on your body is noticeable and gives a really nice glow. Next up is a concealer. This is the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer in the shade Fair. So this concealer, you may not have seen it in a lot of tutorials because I mostly wear it on non full face makeup days, which is most days to be honest. It's both a treatment and concealer. So I like to use it all around my eye area to help hydrate and moisturize and also to cover dark circles and just give my face a little bit more coverage than a bare face. I also like the fact that it has this sponge tip applicator. On days when I'm not wearing makeup, I don't like to have to grab my beauty blender, go to the sink to dampen it, and then use that to tap in my concealer. I like to just twist, dab, and go. The only problem I have with this product is that I have it in the lightest shade, which is fair, and it's actually not very light. So I couldn't use this on makeup days as like a highlight or to brighten my face. It's really just a good match for my skin tone for concealing the under eye area. It's not, for example, as bright as my Naked Skin Concealer, which I will swatch side by side for you. And this is also in the shade Fair. My next makeup favorite is a lip combo. I've been loving lining my lips with the MAC Lip Pencil in Spice and then filling them in with the Maybelline lipstick in Touch of Spice. This combo together is amazing. It's a really great lip color for fall, even though I know we're not in fall yet, not until September 22nd, I believe. But gearing up for fall, I'm really into this lip color. It's what I have on my lips today. Even though the names are very similar, very spicy, they're not actually the exact same color. The lip pencil is a little browner and the Touch of Spice lipstick has a little more pink in it, but they look really nice together and I find the MAC lip pencils to be a little too drying to wear on their own, although I do like to fill in my lips with them on occasion. So the even though this lipstick is matte, I do find that it gives like a tiny bit of a sheen and helps moisturize my lips when I'm wearing it. These two layered stay on really well, they last forever on my lips. And if you want to see me use them in a tutorial, in my peach glam tutorial that went up a couple days ago, I used this combo. So I will link that down below if you haven't seen that yet. My next favorite is an eye mask. So these were actually sent to me by the company. This is an eight hour eye mask. Let me show you a little closer what it looks like. So the box comes with six pads and each one has two little eye masks. That's basically what it looks like on your eye. This eye mask is super, super hydrating. And I don't know how they do it, but basically it's like a little gel pad and it sticks onto your skin for up to eight hours. So you can wear it while you sleep to plump up fine lines and hydrate your eye area. My favorite thing to do is use these whenever I'm flying on a plane, especially for a red eye flight. I just pop them on as soon as I get on the plane and then take them off just as I'm landing. And that way my eyes aren't subject to the dehydrating dry airplane environment. And my eye area is bright and moisturized when I arrive at my destination. And if you're worried about being able to sleep with these on, don't. You can barely feel them when they're on, except that they do have a nice cooling effect. 
and they stick on super well so even if you sleep face down into the pillow they'll be there when you wake up in the morning although i guess you could always wear an eye mask if you really want to make sure they stay on but i haven't had that problem yet so these v2 oxygen eye masks i have definitely been loving my next favorite is the pharmacy sleep tight firming night balm this stuff is amazing i really love it love it it looks kind of funky in the container, but it's basically a balm that when you scoop a little bit out, turns into kind of like a gel oil. So you only need a tiny bit and then you rub it all over your face and it's super hydrating. And it also contains specific antioxidants that help prevent collagen breakdown. So in addition to being lovely and moisturizing, it is doing some good for your skin. One of my favorite things about this is definitely the scent. It's like a really herbal spa-like scent. Maybe a little bit minty even, I wanna say, but it smells amazing to me. That's one thing I love about the brand Pharmacy. I have a couple products by them, but all of their products smell really natural and fresh, not like artificial skincare fragrancy scent. So I really appreciate that. And of course, the packaging is super cute. Along the same theme of things that smell amazing is the Momo conditioner by Devines. So I picked this up kind of on a whim um, sometime in August because I remember it was part of a vlog, vlogist. And this is a moisturizing conditioner for dry or dehydrated hair. So I definitely do have dry and dehydrated hair. I didn't do YouTube at the time, but about a year or two years ago, I totally bleached my hair and went platinum. And ever since then, I'm dealing with the damage. It's not so bad, especially at my roots. This part's pretty much all my natural color, but my ends are super dry. So this conditioner is perfect for that. But mostly my favorite thing about it is the smell. It smells like, it smells unlike any hair product I've ever used. It smells really fresh, like naturey. I think it's supposed to be fig scented because I noticed that it smells identical to my old favorite Jo Malone fragrance, Wild Fig and Cassis, which is now sadly discontinued, but this conditioner smells almost identical to that. I still have my old bottle, so I did a comparison and it's pretty spot on. So if you were a fan of the Jo Malone Wild Fig and Cassis fragrance, you should definitely try this conditioner. And it's moisturizing. My last favorite of the month is a tea. So if you watched any of Vlogist, you will know that I'm a big tea drinker. I have a cup every morning, if not multiple cups throughout the day. So I was super excited to try a new type of tea. The people at Tea Me were kind enough to send me this blend. I chose Focus, which is an energizing blend. So perfect for drinking in the morning. It contains yerba mate, peppermint, black leaf tea, ginseng, guarana seeds, goji berries, ginkgo biloba, and a few other plant-based ingredients. The first day I tried a cup, I wasn't really expecting much. I am already a fan of yerba mate tea, so I had somewhat of an idea what the taste and effect would be of this tea, but I was blown away by how much energy it gave me. It's definitely an, an amazing tea for days when you've got a lot to get done and you need something to wake you up and keep you focused throughout your day. I'm not a big coffee drinker because I find that it makes me kind of jittery and then as the caffeine wears off, I get super tired. So I, it was super cool to find something that gives you like an amazing amount of energy but then tapers off calmly and you're not left feeling like you need a nap at 2 p.m. I'm also a fan of the taste. It has a pleasant herbaly taste with the peppermint obviously adds a bit of a mint flavor and I didn't find I needed to add any milk or honey to this. I like the taste the way it is, but if you're not a fan of natural earthy tasting things, then you might not be a fan, but I would definitely give it a go if you're looking for a morning tea to give you some energy. And those are all my current favorites. Let me know in the comments down below what you have been loving this month. I always love to hear what you guys have been trying and enjoying. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in the next one.